How to get a woman to think about you nonstop. That's today's video topic. Please make sure you stay tuned, and watch this video until the very end because I promise to give you some helpful hints and tips. Make sure you hit that subscribe button now, so you get notified about new videos. Let's get started. In this video, I am going to tell you how to get a woman to think about you nonstop. Now this starts with the emotional connection, and that you are able to connect with her. Let me tell you something, emotional connection does not mean that you get over emotional and talk about your deepest desires early on. The emotional connection means that you show her that you are the guy that she wants. So, the time you spend with her is very important to the attraction phase, make this time fun, light and you need to make your presence known. So, in this video is going to be more about how to get her to continue thinking about you. Once you are in that stage of spending time together and now you want her to think about you even more. Here is tip number one for you. Do not be predictable, this is probably the most important out of all of them. You want to show an imbalance so she knows that she has to attract you. This means that she still has to do some work to get you. What this means is that if you text her good morning or good night, all the time, then do not do it too much anymore. Check to see if she starts to do this. Also be sure you do not respond too early to her texts. Make her wait and get excited to see your name pop up on her phone. Here is the next tip. Be a little mysterious. Let her wonder what you are doing. Be sure not to post everything that you are doing, every single second on Instagram or on Facebook, like what you are eating, who you are going out to dinner with, where you might be at for happy hour. Instead, you want to post less if you are active on social media. Also be mysterious, which means temporarily disappearing. Now you don't want to disappear for too long, but disappear for long enough, where it gets you wondering what you are up to. So, if it takes you a whole day to reply to her morning text, and then at night, you finally text her back and say I've had such a busy day. I really hope your day was good and I'm going to head to beat as I have a long day tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon and good night. This message shows her, she is not your priority and women love this. They see you have a life that you love and it shows stability, which leads me into my next tip. My next tip is to do this a couple of times. Not just once, but there are some dating coaches that will tell you to go off the radar for 3 days, or 4 days or even 5 days. But let's be honest, if this woman is attractive and has her pick, she isn't going to be turned on by this, because it just seems shady. You just have to pop in and out, but on your terms, because you are the busy one. Now you want to keep this up for about 3 days, once you start engaging in conversation again, she is going to be thinking what are you really doing. She might think things like does he have another girl? What is he doing, that he is so invested in? that he isn't giving me the time of day? This stands out from a lot of other men and what they are doing right now. Remember you want to be less predictable during this time, which enhances her attraction towards you. I mean most of the time, this girl might even say when am I going to see you again? When you reach back out to her again. And this is where you want her to be. Here is another tip for you. You want to be making the plans after being busy. Let me explain and clarify a little bit of what I mean. You want to pop in here and there, but be less attentive during this 3 or 4 day time. This means not replying to her texts a lot, not replying to her messages a lot, and just blowing her off because you are a busy guy. This tip is making plans after being busy. When you start chatting with her again, just let her know that you've been busy with work, but you also want to try and focus the conversations on what she's been up to and not always about you. You don't want to fully answer her questions, because it brings more mystery to her. Once you do this, schedule something with her eventually, but not right away. Why? The time that passes will get her excited to see you again. That time is critical to the attraction phase. You can say something like this Hey I'm busy the next two days, but I have some time on Thursday night, would you like to grab a drink around 7? I encourage all of my students to do this because you do not want to become that text messaging buddy. You want to make sure that your text messages are simple, to the point, and close-ended most of the times. Now by not making yourself so available, 
this will give her enough time to miss you and want to see you again. This is how you will stick out in her mind. Here is my next tip for you. Try and be her hero. Whenever she is in trouble or worried about something, don't just sit there with her. Acknowledge that you don't have all the answers, and that you may not know exactly what she's going through, but try to help make the situation better for her. Ask her how you can help, but don't insist that she let you. Be patient with anything she goes through and be supportive. When you can make a difference, do so without hesitation, but also cautiously, as you don't want to hurt her in any way. If she likes you already, go above and beyond the call of duty. Do something that she'd never expect you to do, like cooking her breakfast and then doing the dishes, and she'll fall even harder for you. You're showing her what you're made of. You should try and be a gentleman. This means opening doors, paying for a date, keeping your word, etc. Girls love to feel like a gentleman care about them. Be witty. Girls love guys who are great conversationalists, who can turn anything into a joke. Learn how to elegantly make fun of yourself. So, the next thing to do, is make sure you click the link in the description box below the video right now, and head through to the website, and you can check out all of the dating programs. These dating programs are going to help you improve your dating success with women. I have also placed on that website some important tips that help you with conversation, attraction, flirting and getting women to like you, so at the very least go through to the website and check out those tips. I hope this video helped. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video, that motivates me to make more videos for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.